hello everybody welcome to the channel in today's video i want to do two things the first thing and the important one is that i want to talk about noise tosh so for those of you who don't know what noise tosh is it's a real-time microphone noise suppression app as it says here and today i was crawling through twitter and i found the tweet saying that the app might be compromised so i came here to the github to check this and as you can see in the releases there is a release called potential compromise and the developer is saying i have a reason to believe at least one of my systems all the key material has been compromised don't trust the binaries i'm deeply sorry and he leaked the key himself to show that he's not joking so if we go back to the code and we scroll down we will see here that the community is conducting an audit to check the code base if there is anything malicious so if you guys know any c language or let's see or go i think yes if you know c or go you can come here and help because it was actually a nice app so i scroll through this discussion to find out that the developer is assuming that it was most likely someone looking for bitcoin wallets and it's probably nothing related to noise torch but he's saying still better safe than sorry and he also thinks that this compromise might have happened in 2021 and we're halfway through 2022 so this is actually a long time so i think what we should do right now is to remove the application until they make sure that it doesn't have anything malicious and we can start using it again okay so i started looking for the alternatives and i know that easy effects is one of the best alternatives so i came here to read about it so i found out that it's an audio effect for pipewire applications and it was formerly known as pulse effects and it was renamed to easy effects after it started using gtk4 and gstreamer was replaced by native pipewire filters so i thought to myself okay maybe it's time to try pipewire uh, lots of distributions right now ship pipewire by default so maybe it's time to try it although pulse effect still exists it's still in maintenance mode i can download it and try it but i said to myself okay maybe we should try pipewire so that's actually the second thing i want to do in this video is that i want to take you guys with me through the transition from pulse audio to pipewire i will remove pulse audio and i will install pipewire i will reboot the machine and we will see if the app will make a difference in the audio in this video okay so here we are in the terminal let's remove pulse audio this is the applications that we need to remove we need to remove them all together because they have a dependency cycle so here zoom optionally requires network manager whatever yes i hope that my audio still works okay now we need to install those applications okay let's install pipewire jack and jack are in conflict yes yes okay now we need to activate some system ctl services system ctl dash dash user enable pipewire dot service yes okay let's see i installed wire plumber okay yeah i didn't tell you guys what we need to install we installed pipe wire we installed pipe wire dash pulse for the applications that need pulse audio we installed pipe wire dash also for the applications that need also also pipewire dash jack for the applications that need jack we installed wire plumber this is the session manager it's the recommended one on the arch wiki and we installed blueberry again and pavo control it was already installed I didn't remove that's why i typed 
dash dash needed okay let's come here again and start enabling the other system wire yes wire plumber service fail to enable okay let's try okay let's in, let's enable false pipe wire false service let's see what's wrong with wire plumber fail to enable okay system ctl status wire plumber wire plumber dot service could not be found okay sudo wire plumber yeah it's it exists yes system ctl quit system ctl wire status wire plumber could not be found okay let's reboot and see okay so i rebooted the system and before i rebooted i found out why i wasn't able to enable the system ctl wire plumber it should be enabled like that system ctl wire plumber dot service without that okay that should enable it so to confirm that we are on pipe wire server name pulse audio on pipe wire so i don't know if the audio is better right now i will know that in the editing but okay so that makes pipe wire working so thank you guys for watching the video i will keep you updated on how pipe wire will behave with me take care guys and goodbye